Hi everybody. This is a Lutron Skylark model uh, light and fan dimming switch that I replaced in a residential bedroom. Uh, the problem with it is the slider for the light broke off inside of the switch. We still have the fan control but the light is broken off in there somewhere. Now these switches are pretty expensive. I think they cost like 35 bucks at the store. Uh, so I thought before I just toss this, let's open it up and see what 35 bucks gets you from Lutron. So this is probably going to be destructive to open it up, but let's see what we can find. It looks like there's a plastic tab here and a plastic tab there. So I'm just going to try to that's definitely the bottom pivot. There we go. Here's the springs. So these two little clips here, push them down, and then that comes off. And oh, look at that. There's quite a bit of dirt and dust in there. Oh boy, that thing's just packed. Let me see if the slider is still. Oh yeah, look at that. The slider is still there. So I can still slide this up and down for controlling the light. Of course, it's not worth it at this point. So uh, let's see what's next. Looks like there's a rivet there and a rivet there. And you know what? I'm actually going to try and drill those out. So let me just set this down for a second and get some drills. Harbor Freight Drills, not Harbor Freight Drill. Let's just try this one. Yeah, that ought to work. Okay, there. Oop, not yet. There we go. There's one. And basically to drill out a rivet, you just got to find a drill bit that's a little bit bigger than the diameter of the rivet set it in place, and then just drill until the top of the rivet pops off. And that's it. And you have the little rivet caps that get stuck on your drill bit. Just kind of walk them off carefully and make sure they're not real hot so you don't get burned. Okay. Then, you can open the switch. So there's actually quite a bit going on in here. There's some big capacitors. There's actually quite a lot of electronics in here. And then we have two more little rivets here. Actually, four more little rivets that hold this whole assembly onto the aluminum plate. So I've gone this far. that one. Okay. This drill bit I think might be the wrong size. Let me try a bigger one. Nope, that's not going to work. Nope, that worked. spinning the rivet. Okay. Let me see if I can't just break these off now. Nope, those are off. And these are not. Well, you know what? Just bust them off anyway. Oh, and there's one little thing that's pressed in here. What is that? It's a transistor. Well, you know what? There we go. All right, so there's my slider for the fan 
there's a transistor that's pressed into the face to act so that this can act like a heat sink. There's the rivets. Wow, they're really long rivets. Look at that. That's surprising how big they are. Of course, it's greasy. Huh, look at that. So here's the different contacts for the fan switch. So on the end of this, there's a little metal bar. So when you slide this up and down, it makes contact on those. Looks like there's three sets of contacts. So let me just feel it. Oh yeah, you can feel it when you slide it. It's down here, which is off. And then each of the three different positions for high, medium, and low speed fan. Oh, that's interesting. And for the light switch, yeah, that's the whole dimmer slider right there on the board. So that did not break. That's actually still in place, and I'll bet it would still work. Of course not now, but... The two big capacitors there. A bunch of resistors. Looks like a diode or two. And then I don't know what this is. It's an on-off switch of some type. Oh, I wonder if that's a hard stop for the dimmer switch. I'll bet it is. I'll bet that's a hard stop for the dimmer right there. So however this dimmer slider is hooked up, I'll bet that when this goes up, now you have full brightness. And when this goes down, the, the switch itself, or the slider, must make contact with this slider and also with this um, metal spring so that when this comes down and hits the bottom um, it separates those contacts right there to actually turn the light off. I bet that's how it works. Which you know what, that kind of makes sense because I think when this was broken, when I went and replaced this in the house, I think the slider was set somewhere in the middle and I think these two were making contact and that's why the light was still working. I think. So, there you have it. Lutron dimmer disassembled. Here's the model. And here's the schematic of how to connect it. So, pretty cool. Even though it broke, it was still capable of functioning. So, pretty interesting. And real quick, here's the box that the replacement dimmer came in. So, just so we get the data off of it. This is what it was. Lutron fan control and dimmer. Single pole. Pretty expensive. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.